Okay, so hi to everyone, this is Fear of the Dark and welcome back to x Lines. We are gonna uh, play mission number two. Let's get going. We have earned another chance to show what we can do. This time with Ema. Okay. Let's check our emails. Yeah, you can read them. Basically, we got this souvenir. Yeah, this. Harlequin. Key to Harlequin Station, presented to you by the appreciative inhabitants of Harlequin Station for your combat assistance against attacking forces. Okay, let's continue. Alright, peace. Thanks for that little scrap you and Aaron got yourselves into with the Baraxo. Uncle Anton wants me to make sure you know how to stay alive when the shooting starts. Your instincts serve you well at Harlequin Station. It's evident you've learned something useful from all those space combat scenes you're always playing. Now, it's for real. You can't rely on just instincts and stim experience. I guess the most important thing to remember is that a YT-1300 isn't a starfighter. For transport, it is fast, light, and maneuverable. But you wouldn't want to take on an Imperial TIE fighter. The fact of the matter is, you're better off avoiding trouble in the first place, rather than trying to fight your way out after you've gotten into it. I'm gonna run you through some simple targeting exercises, then we'll fly off to an old debris field. It'll be easier than shooting Minos off a power cable. We'll program some drones to lighten things up a bit. Okay. You will fly the Sabra again, but yours truly is tight, and you occupying the gun turret. Ewan will be flying the Andrassa, his personally customized Kuat Systems Engineering Fire Spray Class Patrol Craft. Isn't that Boba Fett's ship? We will use drones to help you familiarize yourself with the targeting and sensor system and the associated displays available in the gun turret. As soon as you're ready, Iman will lead the way to a debris field where you can practice your gunnery skills. This is going to be great. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Target practice. Alright, MK, try not to hit anything in your way either. Sir, my flight record is quite unblemished. I know, I'm just rousing you a little. Hope you're enjoying the ride in the gunner's turret, little brother. So the ship is being autopiloted by MK. Alright MK, park your ship above that rendezvous buoy. Even will drop off a few drones while he explains. Let's see those drones. Target the drone, then examine the CMD and sensor displays. The CMD identifies the target and displays critical target data. The sensor displays allow you to track all nearby objects. Just remember the bracketed dot is what you have targeted. The colors identify friend from foe, neutral and unknown. Purple is family, blue is neutral, presumed friendly. Red designates an Imperial vessel, and green is a rebel craft. Gold is any other aggressor, or unknown that is presumed hostile. So what do you see when I just get straight to the shooting? Go ahead and shoot all the drones. Okay, but I still don't know how I can. Keep it up. Wait a second to him. Problem is I still don't know how I can target only enemy Very units. Impressive. I need to find that out.
Okay. Got this. Actually, the mouse is good for this turret. Lol. <laughs> Okay, wait a second, I'm gonna press everything now, since I would like to know how I can target only... Uh, target only enemy units. Okay, I still cannot figure it out. I totally forgot how to do that. This will take some time. I need to change on the voice of the turret. Just give me a second. Um, flight engine, cockpit. Ah, uh, which one it is. Okay, let's just move everything on the max. Ah, uh, this is okay. Ah, uh, this sucks. Really, you cannot have uh, controls. I mean. Mm. Ah, this sucks. There are no control options, at least I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in the game. Games read me. That would Because I clearly remember you could... These guys think it. This guy thinks my father thinks that he's that pro or badass. Oh, he's helping. Okay. Well, of course, if you... ...have a control of your full ship... Okay, I can't even hit this. Ah, you are here, okay. I'm still <clears throat> I'm still destroying more containers than you than you do so Okay, and the last container. Oh, not not the last one. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> hey, let's celebrate. I'll buy you a drink at Denari's Casino. Denari's Casino? That place has a colorful reputation. Follow me, MK. You have the coordinates. Oh, you can actually have it like this. Okay. That's even better. For me, at least. See the, the inner uh, cockpit at all. Well I, well, I think it's easier to play. Not sure if you right. could. I actually get bonus for every. You actually get bonuses for every kills. Phew. Yeah, sorry for this. If you hear anything in my microphone, any high-pitched sound or anything, yeah, sorry for that. My microphone isn't so good. Okay, so this is this was mission two. It wasn't so exciting, I think. <laughs> Not too shabby. Demonstrated pretty decent gunnery skills in the good old YT 1300. I guess we can trust you with some of the riskier jobs that sometimes come our way. You might actually be useful the next time some stinking group of pirates tries to jump one of our ships. Okay. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna end the third video with mission two. I will come back to mission three soon. It's gonna be uh, more exciting. And meanwhile, I will try to figure out uh, what what the buttons are to target uh, enemies friendlies so yeah thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one